In this assignment, a student will learn how to use Notability to complete uh, an assignment online and then submit it to a Moodle assignment. So I'm logged in as a student and one example would be this assignment on the top block of Boar's Band page called the Practice Claim Form. So as a student, if I were to click to read the directions on what I'm asked to do, you will notice that um, you are asked to complete this uh, form and turn it into Moodle. And the teacher links to a PDF. If you click on this hyperlink, it will open in a new tab, and one of the options that a student will have if they touch the top of the document is to open in another app on the iPad. So I'm going to click on Open In, and as long as Notability is installed on the iPad, you can click on Open in Notability. At this point, we leave the Safari app, and we're in the Notability app, and you can click Create a New Note, and you can click OK. So this is going to appear in Notability, and one of the things students should be encouraged to do is to name their document. So I am going to touch the title of the document, and I'm going to take away a couple characters, and I am going to put a name on the document. A couple of the common tools in Notability. Right now I have selected the annotation tool and I can use that with a stylus or my finger to write directly onto the PDF. So for example, I could print a name like that. And another common tool in Notability is the text tool. So I can click on that tool at the top. And if I wanted to use that, I hold my finger down where I want to place that text box, click on plus text box, move it so that the cursor is in the right spot, and I could type in a answer to that. All right, so you can use both text and annotation using Notability. So let's assume that this document is completed. There's obviously a lot more to be done, but now at this point I want to turn this into um, Moodle. So what I would do is I'm going to click on the action icon at the top, and what a student has the option to do is to put it into their own Google Drive. And so I'm going to click here, and I'm going to send to Google Drive. Now the important part of this is that you are logged into your own Google Drive when you do this. So I'm just going to go back a step. So I'm going to click back, and I'm going to go to my shelf here, and um, make a note that in Notability, to ensure that you are logged into your own Google Drive, you would click on this icon, which is your settings, and then you click on Manage Accounts, and this is where, if you're not already logged into Google Drive, you could um, log into Google Drive. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to go back to the assignment, and then I'm going to send it to Google Drive. So I click on the action icon, I click on Google Drive, and I could put it in a particular folder. In this case, I am not going to do that, but the students could organize that way in their drive, and I'm going to send to Google Drive. At this point, we are going to switch over to the Safari app to turn it into Moodle. So using my five finger up command or gesture on, on my iPad, I can see the other open apps and I'm switch over to the Safari app. Either using the back button or going to the tab, the open tab, you can get back to the assignment and you can submit it. So you click on the add submission button And in this case, you're going to add a file, so you'll click on this button. On the left-hand side, you'll notice that one of the options to upload a file is your Hopkins apps or your Google Drive. If the blue button that says log into your account is under this dotted box, you just simply need to click on the top of the window and move it slightly so that it is not under that box. We've noticed that under that box, it's hard to get at that blue button but that can easily be moved around. So go ahead and move it. You will have to log into your Google account in the Safari app. So if I click on that, um, you will be prompted to log in. In this case, I'm already logged in. Make sure those are your files. So I am going to scroll through my files here. 
And again, it might be easier if you've put it into a folder to find that document, but I can click on the practice claim form. I'm going to select this file and then I'm going to save. At this point, you can add comments if you'd like, if you need to exchange some communication with your teacher, but otherwise your assignment is turned in.